Mastering Effective Crisis Management Crisis lurks in our blind spots, waiting to destroy our operational excellence. Where do our organization's most critical risks lie, and what framework can we use to prioritize them effectively in order to ensure operational excellence and resilience in the face of crisis? To achieve operational excellence and resilience in the face of crisis, a comprehensive framework is essential for identifying, prioritizing, and mitigating critical risks that may threaten an organization's viability. This framework should comprise the following components. 1. Risk identification. Conduct a thorough risk assessment to identify potential risks that could impact the organization's operations, finances, or reputation. This includes reviewing historical data, incident reports, and stakeholder input to identify potential vulnerabilities. 2. Risk categorization. Categorize identified risks based on their likelihood, impact, and velocity. This can be achieved by creating a risk matrix that plots the likelihood of a risk occurring against its potential impact. Risks can be categorized into high, medium, or low priority based on their placement on the matrix. 3. Risk Assessment Framework. Implement a standardized risk assessment framework, such as the NIST Cybersecurity Framework or the ISO 31000 Risk Management Standard, to evaluate and prioritize risks. This framework should consider factors such as the risk's likelihood, potential impact, and velocity, as well as the organization's existing controls and mitigation strategies. 4. Risk Prioritization. Prioritize risks based on their categorization and assessment results. This can be achieved by assigning a risk score to each identified risk, which takes into account the likelihood, impact, and velocity of the risk. The risk score enables the organization to prioritize risks and focus on the most critical ones. 5. Risk Mitigation Strategies. Develop and implement tailored mitigation strategies for each identified risk. This may involve implementing new controls, enhancing existing controls, or developing contingency plans to respond to potential crises. The mitigation strategies should be risk-based and proportional to the identified risks. 6. Continuous Monitoring and Review Establish a continuous monitoring and review process to ensure that risks are regularly reassessed, and mitigation strategies are updated as necessary. This process should include regular risk assessments, audits, and compliance reviews to identify new risks, evaluate the effectiveness of mitigation strategies, and update the risk profile. 7. Crisis Management Plan Develop a comprehensive crisis management plan that outlines the procedures and protocols for responding to crises. The plan should include incident response protocols, communication strategies, and decision-making processes to ensure effective crisis management. 8. Training and Awareness Provide regular training and awareness programs for employees to ensure they understand the risks and mitigation strategies. This includes crisis management training, risk awareness training, and compliance training to ensure that employees can identify and report potential risks. 9. Stakeholder Engagement. Engage with stakeholders, including employees, customers, suppliers, and regulators, to ensure that they are aware of the risks and mitigation strategies. This includes communicating the risk profile, crisis management plan, and mitigation strategies to stakeholders. 10. Review and Update. Regularly review and update the risk management framework, risk assessment, and crisis management plan to ensure they remain effective and relevant. This includes reviewing lessons learned from crises, adopting best practices, and incorporating new regulations and standards. By implementing this comprehensive framework, organizations can identify, prioritize, and mitigate critical risks, ensuring operational excellence and resilience in the face of crisis. This proactive approach enables organizations to respond effectively to crises, minimize the impact of disruptions, and maintain business continuity.